this is our power rankings here at Tighthead. Tyke Furlong, 10 out of 10. John Ryan, 6. Andrew Porter, 5. Finley Beelham, 5. That's what we have uh, here on OTB AM, Emmett. Are we wrong about that? Um, in terms of, no, well, I mean, Tyke is <laughs> Tyke's the best Tighthead I've seen for a long, long time. He's a phenomenal player. I suppose the, under, the, the important thing for I suppose most people understand is the differentials between loose and tight at prop and there's, um, there's quite a significant one and this is why Tyg is such a, a valuable asset and I mean it's been spoken about with Mike Ross and before that John Hayes and it, with the Irish team and that th it's, it's hard to find quality tight at props because the position is very difficult uh, to um, it, it's a very difficult position to play. It's the hardest, most physical position on the field because when you're in the scrum, and the scrum has changed a bit now since I was playing, but, but when you're in the scrum, essentially you're against two different players, but also they have the biomechanical advantage. So when you go into a tight, uh, when you go into a scrum, you've got the loose head here on this side, and you've got, the, sorry, the hooker on this side and the loose head on, on this side, so say for example, um, but they're also underneath you. So they have, in any pushing game, you know, people who are lower and underneath, they're gonna win, they have the biomechanical advantage. So what, what the, the whole agenda for a tight end prop is to try and reduce the surface area. Loose head does the opposite. He tries to come in underneath the chest. He can't push a tight end back unless he lifts him first. He has to destabilize him. So that means he's underneath him. He lifts him and then he drives him back. So a tight head has to do the opposite. He has to keep, the, he has to keep pressure down and he has to reduce the surface area that the loose head has to work with. So if a loose head comes in underneath here, you're in trouble. But if you can kind of slip in and use the angles and push him out here, then he's got a lot less to work with. And then the other thing is timing. So when you, the, the, the opposition drive, they go for the big push as soon as the ball comes in. So if you can, if you can shift your weight again just in the time that well, the loose head has very, and you can move in again, then the loose head will make his drive, he'll push on nothing. So that's it, you time that. You get that wrong now, again, someone who's very good and you can be in real trouble. But essentially, they, you, that's, that's, the, that's really, yeah, that's, the, that's the essence of it. And it's a very difficult thing to do. Now, what makes Tyke so unique is the type of build he has. So you don't get this in the gym. Tyke's got a naturally barrel type chest. Yeah. He's not overly broad, so he's compact. Like and he's, tube. Yeah, and he's like, well, an arrow even. So he, uh, he doesn't offer a massive, massive surface area to hit. Like you look at someone like Castro Giovanni and stuff, he's just a big, 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 heavy guy. He, but he's offering a big surface area. He's not quite as compact. And also the depth of the chest makes it very hard to get underneath. So he's, 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 he's deep this way and he's also not somewhat broad this way. And he goes, so he can push through the scrum a lot better than the average uh, tight head prop. And then you combine that with his, obviously his footballing abilities and his, you know, his work rate.